We've got the Chicago Bears and the Atlanta Falcons here for you in this exhibition contest. The Bears playing on the road, always a difficult place to win. What does the traveling team have to do? Well, Gus, there's no question that uh, not only do you have to overcome a terrific football team, but you have to overcome one of the toughest environments in the National Football League. So emotionally, you almost have to find your own energy on the field. The bench has to be alive. You have to be cheering for each other. You just have to create that raw emotion to overcome what the crowd is giving you on the other side. All right, Chris, with that in mind, it's game time, and we've got two teams really ready to rumble. Kanan has the ball all teed up, and he looks ready to get this game underway. Gets to about the 24 before going down. Dent was there for the stop. That brings out the seventh-year man out of Vanderbilt, quarterback Jay Cutler. The offense will take over at the 24-yard line. It's first and 10. Looks left. Here's a short pass. And when you look at this offense and some of their key players, you realize that with guys like Matt Forte from Tulane, they're going to use a power running game. Yeah, you're going to need more than one guy to bring down Matt Forte. He's a tough, bruising running back that really is the embodiment of the position. And Chris, he is definitely primed to be a performer to watch in this one. Passes it over the middle of the field. And so now let's take a look and see some of the key personnel on this defensive squad. Who will try to stop this offense from doing anything in this one? And he drops the short pick. And that will be a three and out for the offense after that incompletion. Well, and there is some cumulative effect of those three and out series because they do tend to wear out your defense, which has to come right back out on the field now. It's fourth down. The Bears ready to punt this one away. He brings it in and hit immediately. They'll start at the 39-yard line. First down, 10 to go. They might have mistimed the snap on that one. False start, offense. First and down. that will back this one up. Penalties like that sometimes will split a huddle. You'll get half the guys patting you on the back and saying that's okay, and the other half are looking at you like, you idiot. Pitch right. Few offenses in the NFL have this elite of a skilled player. And receiver Roddy White from UAB is establishing himself as one of the best wideouts in the NFL. If not the best, Gus, he is an absolute physical specimen that combines size and speed. And now he's been able to combine that raw athleticism with precise route running, and he's become nearly unstoppable. And Chris, he is definitely primed to be a performer to watch in this one. He drops the easy pick. 
Of course, any discussion of the defense has to start with linebacker Brian Erlocker out of the University of New Mexico, who has been a high-profile player in the NFL since the start. Yeah, and probably a surefire Hall of Famer as well. You can really go on and on about how great Brian Erlocker has been and lose sight of how great he still is now. He still has the ability to impact a game on a down-to-down -down basis. Looking for a man. Fires a strike to the right. Nearly picked off. He should have had that one. The defender gets a hand on it, and that will bring up fourth down. I don't know if that's the guy I want to pick on on third down when you have to have a conversion. He is tough. Fourth down. The Falcons are lining up to punt it away. Hester gets it at the 23. That was really a good effort. There wasn't a ton of room for him to run, but he was able to get up the field, get a few yards. You never get upset with a punt return guy like that. It wasn't spectacular, but he got the job done. He's searching for a receiver. It's tipped and falls incomplete. That'll make it second down with 10 to go. So the ball on their own 30. Dumps it out left. He catches it and is tackled immediately. He stopped behind the line, losing three on the play. You know, sometimes as a quarterback, you have to be careful about dumping it down too quickly. Stand in there, see what you've got working down the field. That time they were all over that quick throw. That brings up third and 13. In heavy traffic. And that sack will bring up fourth down as the offense couldn't get anything going on the series. Man, those defensive linemen just keep getting quicker and quicker. The quarterback had no chance whatsoever there. At least he was able to hold on to the ball. It's fourth and long now after the sack. Number 14 fields the ball at the 44. I'm sure they would have liked to have gotten a little better return out of him there. Yeah, he really didn't have much of a chance at all to make anything happen there. I mean, I, I know this guy's a dangerous punt return guy, but you can't do it on your own. Jenkins on the run. He doesn't get back to the line. You know, listen... I I would never want to block a defensive lineman. So, I, you know, I've seen these guys. I know these guys. They're big and they're nasty. But at least from an offensive standpoint, you have to try to get in their way. From their own 43-yard line. Passes short right side. He's dropped down right around the 46-yard line by Tillman. When you're facing a blitz, you're forced to make a quick read. He read it right and got good yardage out of it. Third and short situation now. They'll need a couple of yards to convert. Sweep left. Uh-oh! Watch out! He's looking for a burst of speed! He's knocked out of bounds at the nine. 
Pretty impressive stuff. As a back, you have to just keep slamming it in there, believing that hole's going to be there eventually. That time it was, and he took advantage. First and goal now, thanks to that big ground gainer. Has a man to his right. It's almost picked off. Number 34, the intended target. Second down. They're now threatening inside the 10. Turner, again. Cuts back and he's dropped. A pickup of about seven. Big opportunity for both teams here in this tie ball game. Ball on the one, third down. Here's a pitch, left side. Runs through the defender, and he's in. Michael Turner is one of the top backs in the NFL. He really is vision, awareness, acceleration, you name it, this guy's got it. Point after is good. Atlanta up seven points. Atlanta will be kicking off. Hester is deep, looking to return the kickoff. And he'll return it from way back at the three. He gets it back out to the 20-yard line. Moore was there to bring him down. They'll get the ball here at the 20. Now we have a first down and 10 to go. Still looking for an open man. The defender tips it away. Olsen was the intended receiver on the play. They'll face second down and 10. The ball is on their own 20. is out to the left. Olsen was the intended receiver. That brings up third and ten. Jumps it out right. And that's one of those that the wideout goes back to the huddle thinking, he stinks, this guy's terrible. Then as soon as he sees his quarterback, he says, don't worry about it, we'll get it next time. So, it's fourth down. The Bears line up to punt.
number 14. He'll start running at the 39. You know, I like that return. Nothing flashy, but it was really effective. The thing I hate to see are guys that are dancing around back there trying to be a playmaker when they're really not. At least he got up the field, got a few yards. That's what I like to see. And looks left. Throws. That's a first down right there. Might want to play them a little tighter. Maybe even go to the man coverage. Yeah, it's pretty tough to play a zone coverage against this quarterback. He does a great job in recognition, and that time you could see him move the zone defense just a little with his eyes before he threw it in there. Lovey Smith wants the referee to take another look at this one. Not the call the receiver was looking for, but it was the right one. A lot of moving parts to that play. Were the feet down? Did he have the catch? Did he maintain possession? And a lot of times it's so much easier when you slow it down and replay. Throws to his right. And he's tackled around the 25-yard line by Tino Isamoa. And we'll have a first down in 10. Turner on the give. Hammered in the backfield. For me, there's nothing more impressive in football than to see a cover cornerback able to come up and make the stops on the run. That's a complete football player. Second down, 11 yards for a first. 26. Short throw to the left. He's wrestled down around the 21-yard line by Jennings. Turner picks up about five yards with the catch. We've got a third and six. The ball sits on the 21. Short pass to his left. He's brought down right around the 12-yard line by Harris. First down and 10. Inside handoff. Atlanta recovers it. The coach can't be happy with him after that fumble. Priority number one has to be hanging on to the ball. Right, Chris? Yeah, I guess it's so true. No team wants to give their opponent the chance to get a takeaway on a fumble, and I'm sure the coach will have a few choice words for him. You can bet the next time he touches that ball, he's going to be hanging on tight. Turner takes a handoff. Steven Peia was there for the stop. Sometimes when you get it back with this kind of talent, it can be so difficult to get him on the ground.
Atlanta looking to go up by two scores. Looks right, throws. Yeah, I think he would have needed a jackhammer to get that one in there. That was tight coverage. That brings up second down and goal. Ball on the one-yard line. Hit and drop behind the line. And if you can make a running back hesitate just a little, that time you could see there really was no hole and the running back was just fishing for a place to go. It's third down and goal from the two. A score here would make this a two-possession ball game. Steps and throws to the left side. Well, it was the pressure on the quarterback that made the difference on that play. He just wasn't able to go through his reads, and it probably cost him a touchdown there. He'll kick this one from the 10, a 20-yard attempt. The kick is good. So the score now, the Falcons, 10. The Bears, nothing. Atlanta is ready to kick this one off. Hester is back to receive the kick. And he gets the ball at the five. He takes it back to the 29-yard line. Number 81 was there to bring him down. They'll start this drive at the 29-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Flips it out short to his left. Yeah, nice call and a well-timed blitz. They disguised it well. I don't think the quarterback saw it pre-snap, and it forced him into an incompletion. From their own 29-yard line. Fires a laser down the middle. He's tackled at about the 41 by Lofton. And so the defense gives up some yards after the flag. Gus, everybody knows that football is a game of emotion. But unchecked emotion is a bad thing. You have to be able to control yourself on the football field. That's a big mistake. Knox was his intended target. Second down and seven yards to go. Ball on the 44-yard line. Has a man out to his right. And he's knocked out at the 20-yard line. You know, it's really easy to overlook those big guys on the line, but they did a good job picking up the blitz. Yeah, that's a great call because when you get a blitz package like that and your offensive line can first of all figure it out and then get it blocked, it's very tough to cover one-on-one -on -one in the secondary. It's first and 10. Ball on the 20.
Looks left. Here's a short pass. He's dropped down at about the 19-yard line by Williams. Mano Meliuna picks up about a yard with that completion. We've got second and nine yards to go. Ball inside the red zone on the 19. Cutler with the toss. They tackle him for a loss. There are just some guys in this league that you have to run away from. But the danger in that is you run away from him, and he uses his speed to catch you from behind. Third down. They'll need 14 to convert. He's searching for a receiver. Greg Olson was the intended receiver on the play. That pass rush didn't get there that time, but it got close enough to distract the quarterback and force him into a bad throw. So the kicker on to put this through from about 41 yards. He splits the uprights. Robbie Gold is just one of those very accurate kickers. You get him inside of 50 yards, and you have a great shot at making one. Robbie Gould looks ready to kick it away. Number 14 stands back to field the kick. Camps under it. He will start from his own five. Gets to about the 24 before going down. Wilson was there for the stop. They'll start at the 24-yard line. Now we have a first down and 10 to go. Runs a counter. He doesn't get back to the line. And a lot of times in that situation, they read offensive linemen. And the minute you see those offensive linemen, sometimes even in their stance, sort of sitting back, you know the counter's coming. You can get penetration and make a play in the backfield just like that. Facing a second at 11. Searching for an open man. Buy some time in the pocket. Loose ball. It's scooped up by the defense. It looks like there's a penalty. Finds room along the sideline. And I have a feeling this Holding one is coming back. Defense. They line up at the 19. Forte gets the carry. And he's tackled around the 10-yard line by number 54. The offense will line up at the 9. Still a lot of time left, but at the end of one, the score is 10-3. Welcome back to Atlanta. Atlanta. 
Goes through his progression. He tipped the ball away. They're now threatening inside the 10. On the ground, up the middle. He's wrestled down right around the six yard line by Lofton. Here they go, first and goal, down by a touchdown. Gives it off. Four yards out from the score. Looked like someone might have jumped. Well, if you want to know why Pee Wee football coaches make you run a lap if you jump off sides, it's because it can really have a negative impact on your offense, just like that one. Passes short right side. He's brought down at about the three-yard line by Robinson. The offense is down by seven, so this is a very big third and goal from the two-yard line. Touchdown, Bears! Matt Forte has simply become a very special player in this league. A first-class runner, tremendous receiver coming out of the backfield. One of the most complete backs in the NFL. And this for the tie. Robbie Gould puts it through to tie the game. Robbie Gould gets ready to kick it away. Number 14 is deep, looking to return the kickoff. And he gathers it at the six-yard line. He stopped at the 24-yard line. Wright was there to bring him down. They'll get the ball here at the 24-yard line. And we'll have a first down and 10. And looks left. Throws right through his hands. He almost had the pick. White was the intended receiver. From their own 24-yard line. Dumps it out left. He's loose and running strong. He's tackled around the 41-yard line by Harris. Oh. 
First down and 10. Ball on their own 41. Ryan hands it off. He's dropped down right around the 42-yard line by Briggs. It's second down and nine to go. Turner takes it left. And he's tackled right around the 46-yard line by Harris. Third and five right here. Ball on their own, 46. He's looking towards the left side. He's wrestled down around the 42-yard line by Erlocker. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 42. Turner gets the call again. He lost yardage on the play. Yeah, great defense at the point of attack, but also very impressive. The pursuit to the ball, they were all coming there. Second down now, 12 to go. Here's a draw. He's brought down around the 32-yard line by Harris. So they line up at the 32. Looking. Fires it to the left. So they line up at the 32. Inside handoff. He's tackled around the 20-yard line by Jennings. They line up at the 20. Dumps it short. They can't complete the pass, and now the offense will be looking at second down. They line up at the 20. Short pass to his left. The pass falls incomplete. 
No completion that time, and it'll bring up third down. That brings up another third down attempt. Passes out to the left. Number 14 was his intended target. And this will be a 37-yard field goal attempt. They might have missed time to snap on that. Offense. Blaylock is guilty of moving early. They call on the field goal unit. It's up and it's good. Matt Bryant knocks it through and gives them a three-point lead. Atlanta is ready to kick this one off. Hester is back to receive the kick. Taken from the three-yard line. He returns to the 26. Peterson was there for the stop. The offense will start at the 26-yard line. It's first and 10. Throws it deep, left side. He can't come up with it. Incomplete pass. Hester was the intended receiver on the play. So they'll face a second and 10. Hit hard as he throws. And even though that one doesn't go down as a sack, that's one of those that the quarterback remembers and probably rushes him just a little bit on the next throw. They go from their own 26-yard line. up for the deep throw. Jay Cutler let that one get away. He has a great arm, but sometimes he'll still miss those deep balls. It's fourth down. The Bears are lining up to punt it away. He has it, but nowhere to go. Man, those guys were flying down the field. He didn't have a chance on that one. His blocker's got to do something for that poor guy out there. Or he's going to get killed. Now we have a first down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 37. Still looking for an open man. He jumps and brings it down. And the defense has it. 
And for a ball carrier, the number one fastest way to land on the bench is to cough one up like that. That is just not good. They'll set up shop at the 16-yard line. And we'll have a first down and 10. Here's a pass over the middle. He's dropped down right around the 28-yard line by number 56. So, they'll go from the 28-yard line. This one might have been a false start on the offense. Let's get the call. False start, offense. First Even the slightest down. twitch by an offensive lineman will draw a flag. You know, defensive guys really have a bit of an advantage. As long as they don't cross the line of scrimmage, they can jump and flinch and try and get that offensive line to react. Looks left. Here's a short pass. And they lose four on that one. Well, that gets a little embarrassing. Anytime you spend all week working on a play and it comes out like that, <laughs> give the defense a little credit, but that was bad. It's second and very long. Ball on their own 18. He throws short. And they pick up nine with the completion. Nine yard gain on the play. It's third down and 11 to go. And they got him. Not much point in going for this one. I expect to see him put it away here. So he goes down again. The defense is making their way into the backfield and getting to the quarterback. Chris, what can he do here to turn this around? Well, guess, you know, this guy can move. He isn't strictly a pocket passer, so look for him to try to scramble out of the pocket and try to make something happen with his feet. Number 14 fields it at the 40. He got everything he could, but there really wasn't much room. No question about it. He needs a little more help out of his blockers than he got right there. This is a dangerous guy, and if he can get in some open space, he can create some problems for you, but just no space to be found there. Fires a strike to the right. White was the intended receiver. That'll make it second down with 10 to go. Ball on their own 42. Passes it short. Catches it one-handed. And he's tackled at about the 47-yard line by Briggs. from their own 47-yard line. <laughs> Surveys the field. He drops the easy pick. The defense had their number during that last series as they go three and out. Well, you're going to have to gather the troops over on the sideline because whether it was poor play calling or poor execution, they never got anything going that time. Fourth down. The Falcons line up to punt.
And it's in the end zone for a touchback. The offense will take over at the 20-yard line. First down and 10. A lot of movement down there on the offensive line. False start. Offense. First well, down. if you want to know why Pee Wee football coaches make you run a lap if you jump off sides, it's because it can really have a negative impact on your offense, just like that one. Flips it out short to his left. Ten yard pickup on the play. And from their own 25 yard line. Forte takes a handoff. John Abraham was there to bring him down. Sometimes when you get a back with this kind of talent, it can be so difficult to get him on the ground. From their own 31-yard line. Takes it upfield. He could go. He's wrestled down around the 44-yard line by DeCode. From their own 44-yard line. Someone jumped early down there. False start. Offense. First I down. used to always think that offensive linemen should go to the line of scrimmage and hold up either one finger or two fingers and look down when they get confused. Goes through his progression. They get to him in the pocket and bring him down for the sack. The pocket collapsing. I really love those corner blitzes. Not only do you shake up the quarterback and his reads, but you also get maybe one of the fastest guys on the field coming off the corner, and man, can they get to a quarterback in a hurry. So the sack brings up this third and very long situation. Cutler with the give. He's brought down around the 30-yard line by Lofton. It's fourth down. The Bears are lining up to punt this one away. Number 14 fields it at the 29. Takes it back to around the 40. Erlocker was there for the stop. They'll take over at the 40. First down, 10 to go. Oh. 
has a man short to his left. Turner was his intended target. It's now second down, 10 yards to go. A minute left in the half. Going down the middle with it. A burst of speed, and he's in the open. There's a player shaken up on the play. They line up at the 45. Looks to throw. It's a jailbreak. It's so frustrating for an offense when they think they know what's going to happen with a specific blitz package. You work against it all week. You come out in the game and you fail to execute the protection and your quarterback pays the price. So the sack on first down brings up second and long. Good coverage downfield. He goes down. Sack. Loss of eight. So they're facing third and long, following the sack. Ryan hands it off straight ahead. Looked like one of those old-fashioned rugby scrums there. A lot of big bodies piled together and nowhere for the running back to go. That'll be it for the first half of play. The score is back to Atlanta. And he gathers it 
at the six-yard line. He makes it out to about the 21-yard line. Iwu was there to bring him down. They'll start at the 21. It's first and 10. He didn't get back to the line. You know, you can draw up any sort of protection scheme and blocking scheme that you want. But ultimately, this game comes down to one big man against another big man. And that time, the defense's big men, they won the battle. They've got a second and 12 here. Ball on the 19. Turner on the handoff. Hit and drop behind the line. Yeah, and we know defensive ends are probably some of the most athletic guys in the league, and typically you think about them getting after the quarterback, but that time he used his athleticism to make a big stop in the run. Here's a third and long situation. Ball on their own 15. Searching for an open man. So the offense will probably head off the field after failing to convert for a first down on that series. And it really looked like the defense won the battle up front. The big guys controlling the line of scrimmage made the difference there. So, it's fourth down. The Falcons are lining up to punt it away. Hester gets it way upfield at the 45. Man, those guys were flying down the field. He didn't have a chance on that one. His blocker's got to do something for that poor guy out there. He's going to get killed. Now we have a first down and 10 to go. Looks right, throws. He's tackled right around the 42-yard line by Lofton. And so far in this one, as you can see, this player has been the impact performer of the game so far. And we'll have a first down and 10. Ball on the 42. Forte takes it up the middle. He's dropped down around the 31 yard line by Robinson. First down and 10. They hand it off. He fights forward to around the 29. Corey Peters was there for the stop. It's a second and eight situation now. Ball on the 29-yard line. Dumps it out left. The Bears still look to be a little unsure on pass plays. One reason is the secondary is doing such a great job tying up these receivers and giving them so little room to work. And third down, seven yards to go. With the ball on the 28-yard line. Looking for a man. 
He's looking towards the left side. Knox was the intended receiver on the play. The field goal unit is on the field. It's up and it's good. Robbie Gold is one of the most accurate kickers in the NFL. He rarely ever misses inside of 40 yards and is really a pretty good long range kicker too. Gould will be kicking off. Number 14 is back to receive the kick. Taken from the three-yard line. Michael Clayton was there to bring him down. Let's see if the offense can put something together on this drive. They'll start this drive at the 19-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Turner, left side. Number 33. And he's tackled right around the 20 yard line by Toena. They take over at the 20. Short pass to his left. He'll be brought down behind the line of scrimmage. They lose a yard with that pass. He just couldn't make anything happen after he brought it in. Good job by the defense. Here's a third and nine situation. Ball on their own 18. He needs to get rid of it. And that sack will bring up fourth down as the offense couldn't get anything going on the series. I really like how they attacked the quarterback that time. Good-looking defensive play. It's fourth and long now after the sack. Hester fields the ball at the 44. Man, those guys were flying down the field. He didn't have a chance on that one. His blocker's got to do something for that poor guy out there. He's going to get killed. It's first and 10. Ball on their own 47. Cutler gives it up the middle. John Abraham was there for the stop. Five yards. Five yard gain on the play. They line up at the forty eight. Forte gets the call again. He's wrestled down around the 39-yard line by number 56. Now we have a first down and 10 to go. 
They spot it on the 39. And looks left. Throws. He's pushed out of bounds at the 19. The Bears had a tough time gaining yards through the year in the first half, but that time they found some room. He stuck it in there and moved the chains. And we'll have a first down and 10. Running out of time. And they get to him. It's now second and long following the sack. Looks left. Here's a short pass. Bennett was the intended receiver. Third and long, passing situation. Ball sitting at the 26-yard line. Going up towards the end zone. Nearly picked off. He should have had that one. Whoa, that was really lucky. That one wasn't picked out. Not a good decision at all there. And this will be a 43-yard field goal attempt. And he makes it. Robbie Gould kicks it through to break the tie. Chicago looks ready to kick it away. Number 81 stands back to field the kick. He'll return it from the six. He returns to the 26. Moore was there to bring him down. The offense will take over at the 26-yard line. First down and 10. He rolls out to the right. Makes the grab near the sideline, but no signal yet. Yes, he did make the catch. Roddy White managed to make it look so easy out there. There was never a doubt that he had that one. He rolls out to his right. He's going to his right. Throws. I wish all our fans could see what's happening down the field on all our television broadcasts because so much of the game now is won and lost in the secondary.
First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 40-yard line. Ryan with the give. Julius Peppers was there for the stop. A five-yard gain. Second and five coming up here. Finds a hole up the middle. And the tackle was made by Steven Peia. Michael Turner seems to be a little shaken up on the play. It's first and ten. <laughs> Snelling on the inside handoff. He's brought down around the 14-yard line by Tino Isamoa. Offense will line up this one at the 12. Pitch out. He's tackled right around the 12 yard line by Jennings. Now we have a first down and 10 to go. Ball on the 11. Here's a pass over the middle. Comes down with it. Touchdown! You just get the feeling this is going to be a good one today, don't you? Now with a three, probably four-point lead heading into the later portions of this game. Matt Bryant puts it through, and it's a four-point game. Atlanta holds a four-point lead. Atlanta gets ready to kick it away. Hester is deep, looking to return the kickoff. And takes off from his own goal line. He makes it out to about the 21-yard line. Dent was there to bring him down. I got to say, Chris, he is looking locked and loaded now after looking a little rattled earlier in the game. Yeah, and I think the difference is that he's getting some time in the pocket, time to sit back, make his reads, find the open man. He certainly is dialed in now. The halfback with the carry. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. Corey Peters was there for the stop. Second and seven situation here. Ball on their own 23. Steps and throws to the left side. He's dropped down around the 33-yard line by number 56.
And we'll have a first down and 10. Ball is on their own 33. Cutler with the give. He gets to around the 42. John Abraham was there to bring him down. Only a yard needed to convert here on second down. Throws it to the middle. And he's tackled around the 50-yard line by number 56. They line up at the 50. So we'll head to the fourth with our score. The Falcons, 20. The Bears, 16. Welcome back to Atlanta. The Bears have the ball to start this fourth quarter and can move into the lead with a touchdown. Fires a strike to the right. Another catch on this drive. And you know the amazing thing about this guy? We all talk about his arm strength, but did you see how fluid that delivery was? He didn't even look like he was trying to throw it hard. First down and 10. Forte, the ball carry. He's wrestled down at about the 35-yard line by Bierman. It's a second and eight situation now. Forte gets the carry. He's brought down at about the 33 yard line. A number 54. Third down, six yards to the first. They're on their 33. Tucks and runs. He's free. Too close to call. Here comes the chain game. He did not make it. It's going to be fourth down. And it appears that the coach will keep his offense out there. They might have missed time to snap on that one. False start. Offense. Webb is guilty of moving early. Looks like they'll opt to go for it here. Dumps it out right. He's tackled around the 29-yard line by Robinson. They'll set up shop at the 29-yard line. 
First down, 10 to go. Handoff up the middle. He's dropped down right around the 42-yard line by Bullocks. It's first and ten. Ball on their own 42. They go with the run. They haven't been easy yards to pick up, but in a hard-fought game at the end of the day, especially in the second half, you start seeing running plays working a little bit better than maybe what they did in the first half when that defense was fresh and really flying around out there. Short yardage situation here, second and a yard. Short throw to the right. And he's tackled at about the 47-yard line by Tillman. Now we have a first down and 10 to go. Here's the long bomb. It's a touchdown. They went over the top for the huge score. One of the reasons I really like Roddy White are all the plays that he makes on third down. I think that as you look at him and his career right now, you'd have to say he's sort of in that top 15 of receivers in the NFL, but moving up. Point after is good. Atlanta is ready to kick this one off. Hester is back to receive the kick. It's fielded at the two. The stop was made by Peel. They'll go to work at the 19. And we'll have a first down and 10. Feeds it to the back. We've got second and nine yards to go. Makes the throw over the middle. He's wrestled down around the 31-yard line by number 56. First down and 10. Ball on their own 31. He doesn't get back to the line. One of the tough things about trying to get a quarterback block is how athletic those guys are. If you're a fullback or an offensive lineman or somebody out in front trying to make that block, it's just tough to get a hand on those guys. They're quick. Devin Hester is able to make his fourth reception.
First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 48-yard line. Inside give. He's brought down around the 47-yard line by Bierman. Looking for him in. It's a quarterback sack. What do they have to do on offense to stop giving up sacks? I simply think this is one of those games where you're just overmatched on the offensive line. You know it. The defense knows it. The coaching staff knows it. And there's just nothing you can do. So they're facing third and long following the sack. And looks left. Throws. And the pass will fall incomplete. Fourth down coming up. Well, at the end of the game, you go back and you basically say what happened on third down, and you have a pretty good indication of how that game came out. Good play by the defense. Fourth down. The Bears ready to punt this one away. Fields the punt at the 19-yard line. He gets back to the 29 before being stopped. Bauman was there for the stop. And now they'll come onto the field already up two scores. Yeah, with this kind of lead, I expect to see a lot of ball control style of offense from these guys. But I'll say this. This is also the time in the game when the defense has to really start to attack. Sometimes a first down pass can work. Turner takes it left. They tackle him for a loss. And so many times you hear offensive coordinators criticize because they don't try to run the football enough. But when you get stuffed in the backfield like that, you understand why they would rather call the pass play. It's a second and 11 situation here. Ball on their own 28. He's looking towards the left side. Right through his hands. He almost had the pick. Third down now. They'll need 11 to move the chains. On the ground with the tailback. Number 33. He's tackled at about the 31 by Tino Isamoa. Fourth down. The Falcons line up to punt. Clayton fields it at the 26. Owens was there to bring him down. You know, I like that return. Nothing flashy, but it was really effective. The thing I hate to see are guys that are dancing around back there trying to be a playmaker when they're really not. At least he got up the field, got a few yards. That's what I like to see. John Abraham was there for the stop. Runs for about eight yards. You know you have a pretty special player at the running back position when despite the fact that they're run blitzing him now, he can still get out of there and still come up with a nice game.
Third down now, 10 yards for the first. Going deep toward the left sideline. Yeah, I'll be anxious to see how soon they come back with the blitz. They got barbecued on that one. You better disguise that blitz a little better than that if you're going to beat this quarterback. And the big pickup through the air brings up a first down and 10. This one might have been a false start on the offense. Let's get the call. False start, offense. First Number down. 68 is guilty of moving early. The penalty pushes them back to a first and 15 situation. Barely gets it off. Yeah, but you have to be careful making that throw. Sometimes those are easily intercepted. You did a good job getting out of there, but that throw was dangerous. Second down now with a long 15 to go. Throws it up top, down the left side. The ball is tipped away. It brings up third and long they'll need 15 they spot it on the 34 yard line short throw to the left he's dropped down at about the 25 yard line by Douglas The kicking team will line up. This one is about a 42-yard kick. He splits the uprights. And that was not an easy kick, Chris. Yeah, it looked like a little adrenaline kicked in on that one, didn't it? Maybe even surprised him how far he hit that one. Robbie Gould is just about ready to kick this one away. Number 14 is deep, looking to return the kickoff. And it's fielded at the four. Bennett was there to bring him down. Let's see if the offense can put something together on this drive. They'll take over at the 29-yard line. It's first and 10. The halfback with the carry. He's going to be tackled for a loss. And as a quarterback, you have to start to recognize that. You just can't allow that safety to keep sniffing around that eighth man in the box and not throw the football. Essentially, they're daring this offense to throw it, and they're not taking advantage. Facing a second at 11. Here's the give. 
And he's tackled at about the 29-yard line by Briggs. Now third down and 11. And we're at the two-minute warning. The NFL on EA Sports will continue after this word from your local station. They're looking at a third down and 11. We have two minutes left to play in this game. Turner on the draw. Julius Peppers was there for the stop. It's fourth down. The Falcons lining up to punt. Hester fields it at the 29. And as their offense comes onto the field, what are you looking for them to do? They'll get the ball here at the 30. Now we have a first down and 10 to go. He goes down. Sack. They'll hurry back to the line. Throws to his left. He's now over 100 yards receiving in the game. This is just one of those guys that can get separation. He always has a little space between him and the defender, making it easy on the quarterback. Jay Cutler was simply trying too hard that time. He got a little excited and let that ball get away from him. That's something that you'll see from inaccurate passers from time to time. They line it up at the 41. He's dropped, and that's a huge sack. Pretty obvious passing situation here after the sack. Third down, 14 yards to go. Dumps it out right. He's wrestled down right around the 38-yard line by Moore. A burst of speed, and he's in the open. Seems like the defensive pressure has him a little rattled out there, Chris. Yeah, it does. certainly seems that way. He's been quick to tuck and run rather than sitting in the pocket and finding the open man. No question about it, but it's got to be hard to be comfortable in that pocket when it keeps collapsing around him.
It's now second down, 10 yards to go at the 25. Someone jumped early down there. False start, offense. Well, if you want to know why Pee Wee football coaches make you run a lap if you jump off sides, it's because it can really have a negative impact on your offense, just like that one. And they got him. And they will speed things up a bit by going no huddle. Passes short right side. Jukes away, and he will be tackled. Well, they got away with that one. Really not a very good play throwing back across your body like that, but <laughs> every once in a while you'll sneak that in. The defender tips it away. The offense will start at the 23-yard line. And we'll have a first down and 10. He takes a knee. The Bears will take their final timeout. Second down and a long 12. Ball on their own 21. They go with the kneel down. That'll do it from Atlanta. The game's top plays and stats are coming up right now. And let's take a look at the Gatorade performer of the game.